Hi, I'm Gina, your Midwest Gardener. And today I am talking to those who crave fresh herbs for cooking. We are going to create a very artistic, fun herb garden in the house so you'll have all your herbs close at hand. So any time of year, you can have these wonderful fresh plants. It's unique, it's artistic, and it's easy. So let's talk about the materials you're gonna need. I've got, of course, all of our herbs. We've got rosemary and thyme, and you can actually start these from seed too. Something that you'll grow them in. This is actually a light fixture, but you can use a mason jar, any kind of container that works for you. That will fit into your pipe clamp. And we have little tiles here that we're gonna use for labels. They're erasable, so that's really great. And of course, we have our miracle Grow potting mix. And we have a few tools that we'll need because we're going to attach all this to a board. So step one in the process is doing some planning and measuring. Figure out where you want to put your herb garden. Where do you have space? Where do you have a, a good amount of sunlight? Because they're gonna want that to thrive. And then you can decide how big you wanna start with. I chose a two foot board. So just to verify, I have a 24 inch board and I'm gonna put three plants on this board. So I'm gonna space them out evenly. Use your tape measure and measure out. Tick mark at six inches, another six inches, and another six inches. So let's move on to step two. We're gonna talk a little more about spacing of your pot. So I'm gonna space mine evenly, but you don't have to do that. All you have to do is make sure that there's enough light and space for your plants to thrive. I'm just gonna do mine pretty straightforward. So this is step three. We're gonna attach our pipe clamps to the board. We're gonna start by drilling a pilot hole, and to do that, I'm gonna prop up the board to protect my table. So I have all my holes marked with my measurements, and all I'm gonna do is drill a small pilot hole in preparation for the nail. Now in preparation of attaching our pipe clamps, we wanna open them up. It makes them much easier to deal with. And once they're loose, all we have to do then is hammer them in. So we're gonna get our nail and our hammer and we're gonna attach the pipe clamp to the board. It's really easy because we already have the pilot holes and all it takes is a couple of taps. We're gonna do that two more times for the rest of the board. And for our last clamp, So now we're on step four, and that's gonna be potting up our herbs. So we're gonna take the mix, we're gonna layer the bottom of each pot, and then we're gonna break up the herbs from the pots they're in and plant them. So there's our first one, and that's time. So we'll do our second with rosemary. Again, we're gonna loosen up the roots to wake the plant up a little bit. It smells really good. I'm gonna tuck this guy in here, and he's pretty much set. So we just finished our last pot, and we make sure that everything is watered appropriately, especially if you're starting from seed, they need that water. So now for step five, we're gonna attach our pots to our board. And the way to do that is to prop it up, and then we'll connect our clamps so that they're closed, loosely so that we can then fit our pots in, just like this. Then you can clamp it down all the way. So that's our dill, and now we'll do our thyme. So now we've got our pot set. So for step six, we're gonna attach our stone tiles as like little labels so that we can mark what herbs we have in our indoor garden. And to do that, we're gonna use an adhesive. And just in case we don't get an immediate set, we wanna flatten this out. And then we're just gonna take some adhesive and uh, apply it to the back of the tile. So we're just gonna put a little adhesive on the back, but do be careful with the quantity you put on so you're using just what you need. I'm gonna give mine a little flare and put them on an angle. So we're gonna put the first one right here, and then we'll take a second tile. All right, so we're placing the second tile, and these tiles are really great because they come in a pre-laid sheet from Home Depot, 
And all you do is peel them right off. They're pre-cut, these great sizes for you. And you can use individual ones and then one sheet gives you a, about a dozen or more. So we'll install the last one right now. All right, our labels are all attached. So now we're gonna label our plants. I've got here a chalk pencil. This is our rosemary and we've got thyme and we've got dill. And then all that's left to do is hang it. So for our project here, I used a standard picture hanger on the back and this one's rated at 30 pounds. So just make sure the rating matches the size of your project. That's it, another great project from miracle Grow.